actually a synth. Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's, it's part of life. I, I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death count. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but security on it is crazy. Step aside and have the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure, good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Things are bad. Far Harbor and the children of Adam were at the brink of war and with each other. And we caught, we're caught in the middle. It's the fog condenser. It's, we just wanted to protect those people from being wiped up by the fog, but the children of Adam think it's, a diff it's an affront to their god. They want the fog spread all over the island, specifically Far Harbor. 
And the people of Far Harbor hate them right back. They blame the children of Adam for spreading the fraud, even though that's unlikely. If Confessor Martin was still in charge of the children of Adam, we might have better chances. Dimmer and the old Confessor go way back. Martin was the one who found Dimmer and the old Summer of the was with the base of the new home, I mean the base of the nucleus, and we originally decided to work together, maybe on a terrible other one. But now it's disappeared. It's a dangerous mental maniac. Connected to his own memory banks of the nucleus. Hey, Dima. What can I do for you? Well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. All right, I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll 
don't consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Actually, I am. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. I'll bet that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. synth refuge and then deal with one bad here. Which is since I'm also going to be taking this and finally offloading like crap. I have too much weight 